what's going on guys so it's kind of dark and raining so i gotta be quick outside but as you saw in the thumbnail we got three new animals also we got the mullet yeah but the first animal we got is living outside in this pin right behind me now you might think it's probably like a bigger animal since it's in fence wire no I actually have the fence i have to have the fence wire up because i got two dogs that'll eat this thing it's actually a north american box turtle um i know you should probably have like boards so it can't see outside the fence so it doesn't want to get out but that's all that's all i had and this was kind of a rescue because he was on the side of the road nowhere near where they should live so got him brought him here i had this fencing so i put it up I do need to get some wood boards to put around, like one by eights, because if you don't know, most turtles, besides like, besides like water turtles, like radio sliders, because you can put those in the fish tank and they don't care, but like land turtles or tortoises, they can't see out of, well, they shouldn't see out of their enclosure, because then they're going to want to get out, but I put rocks and lawns all around this, so it shouldn't be able to get out. Well, let me find him real quick. Don't know the gender, but I'll get back to you guys when I find him. He hides really well. Comment down below a name from too. He is inside of his little hide right now. Don't know if you can see him. I'm trying to make him turn that way so I can grab him without getting bit. Oh, I think he might just come out for us. Come on. Come on. Maybe he thinks we have food. He's kind of cool looking though. Oh, you can almost see him. You can kind of see his head. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna come out for us. But I did get him like a week ago. I just didn't have time to film because he was kind of rescue. Got him off the side of the road. But I just put this together, put him in here. So, but we'll film right now. The two other animals are pretty new. We need to set up their enclosure too. But yeah, he's coming out. You can see him right there. <laughs> My dog's barking at people walking by. She barks at pretty much everyone. But yeah, that's, let me get a better view for you guys. Right there. That's a North American box turtle. He has a pretty cool face. He can like go inside of his shell and his front part of his shell will actually close in. So that's kind of cool. But let's move on to the next two animals. Oh yeah. So, forgot to tell you guys, but if you don't know, I have a koi pond. Sadly, it got infested with a disease, and it killed all the fish in here, the two goldfish. The pleco survived because they're pretty much hardy. Uh, they can't die. They live in, like, mud. So, but I did put a few bullhead catfish in it because they ca they're kind of cool. I'm probably going to take them out soon so I can put koi fish in it. But you can't really see it. I turned off the filter because there's a little leak in it, but I need to fix that. Just need some waterfall foam and fix the leak, but yeah, I did put, I think five will head catfish in here. They're tiny little babies, but I thought that I would put that in the video, in the video, cause they're new fish, I guess. Well, I actually did move my two 10 gallon tanks downstairs in the guest room. That's my goldfish tank, it needs to be filled up a little bit, but this is my old crawfish tank. You can probably tell the crawfish is gone. This is where the new animals are going. And those animals are also reptiles. And they're these two tiny red ear sliders. They're pretty much the size of like a half dollar. They're very tiny. Pretty much perfect size for a 10 gallon tank. But I got some rocks and we're gonna escape out this tank. I already got some rocks in there. That's pretty much their basking rock. This is their basking light. But I'm gonna I'm um, escape out their tank and I'll get back to you guys after that. Well, I finished escaping it out. I built like a little slope up to the bank so I can bask on that rock, swim down here. And then now I just need to fill up with water, put some dechlorinator in it, get the top set up, and then introduce the little baby turtles to their new habitat. Well, I got it fully filled up and now we just gotta put the lid on and set the heat lamp up. I put some of this 
Smart Pond chlorine remover. It's I use it for my pond, but it'll work fine for anything. Just had it had to use a smaller amount, but I'm gonna set up the top and then put the turtles in. So the way to set this up is first, obviously, put the lid on nice and secure. Then take the heat lamp, put it like in the corner right over the rock. Bring the cords back there, and then there's hooks right there to hook up to the side. I need two hands to do that, so I'm gonna put it in the camera. There. There's these like hook things that are attached to a spring, so I can hook them to the top of the cage so it doesn't just wiggle around. There. And now time to add in the turtles. Alright, so we can just take off the lid like that. That's the good thing about the springs that you can take off the lid without the heat room sliding around. But then we take the turtle, put one right there, get that. It's like plastic in there, just throw it into the bucket. And just put them both up there. And then put the lid back on. And this one's got a switch. So all of them you just plug into the wall and it'll um, turn on. But there they are. It's nighttime, so I'm going to turn it off. I turn it off at night and then turn it back on. So my plan with these guys is that uh, I might get one or two more babies like that because i want to put like a small fence around my pond and then make that like a turtle pond that i feel like that'd be kind of cool comment down below if you want to see that but that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video peace